restaurants, businesses, and even a church were all targeted by thieves who were after catalytic converters in Kokomo. More than a dozen were stolen in less than 48 hours. CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton talked to a victim tonight who's gone through this not once, not twice, but now three times. Less than 24 hours after picking up church members for Sunday service, New Life Church's bus is now out of commission. It's frustrating. Sometime overnight, someone stole the bus's catalytic converter. Now the church is left paying the repair bill. It, it's costly to the church because we have deductibles and it's just the time it's down and those things. These parking spaces right here, this is where the church bus was parked. It's feet away from the parsonage and not too far away from the church building. This isn't the first time the church bus has been hit. They've had the catalytic converter stolen three times in less than a year and a half. I don't know that it's that surprising in our economy and what's happening all around us. Sharon Daniels is the executive pastor of New Life Church off East Vale. Her church's stolen catalytic converter was one of 19 reported to police in just the past two days. 13 were stolen from the Kokomo Auto Supply off Home Avenue. In most cases, it only takes the thieves a few minutes to steal the catalytic converter. Then they cash in on the precious metals it contains. Stop. <laughs> It's costly. It, it, we aren't able to do the things we need to do. A group is supposed to be taking the church bus on a trip to Tennessee next week. Right now, it's uncertain if the bus will be fixed by then. This pastor is tired of thieves targeting her church. They need to be caught. In Kokomo, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News. So if you know anything about these thefts, contact Kokomo Police. You can call their office or use their new tip 411 app. The app lets you to uh, Put a tip in anonymously. It's available to download for free at your app store.